Hey friends, welcome. Uh, today we are going to discuss electronic partition function and as we know that in general for electronic partition function we can write QE that E represents the electronic partition function it is equal to summation GE E raised to minus EE upon KT. GE is our degeneracy and EE is the energy arising or it is our electronic energy and when we look at the electronic energy for electronic partition function it is considered that the energy difference between the ground state and the excited electronic energy that is the difference between the ground state and excited state is very high that means electrons or the atoms or uh, they cannot jump from ground state to the excited energy level very easily and hence they are considered or hence it is considered all the particles they lie in the ground state at ordinary temperatures okay and if we increase the temperature then these particles which are lying in the ground state they may jump to the higher energy levels uh, depending on the energies and hence electronic energy ee of any system it depends on the type of molecules that we are considering as well as the temperature of the system because if we consider that at room temperature or at normal temperature all the molecules they are occupying the ground state and at ground state we know that the energy is equal to zero okay so the energy will be zero at the ground state and if we increase the temperature then these molecules will jump from ground state to the higher energy levels and the population of higher energy levels will increase and at that particular temperature say we are taking at say 300 degree kelvin or 500 degree kelvin so the amount of molecules in the excited state say e1 e2 or any excited state will be higher and accordingly the energy is needed to be considered okay and talking about the statistical weight factor ge the statistical weight factor for say uh, ground electrons is given by russell saunders coupling scheme the value of degeneracy for the ground state electrons are obtained and that degeneracy it is given by 2j plus 1 so j is our angular momentum quantum number and this gives the degeneracy and this degeneracy is obtained from a Russell Saunders coupling. There are few videos on Russell, Russell Saunders coupling. What is that? You may refer them. Okay, so we are not interested in Russell Saunders coupling, but we just need our statistical weight factor and the energy E. And hence, the energy, as I told, it depends upon the type of molecule and the degeneracy factor is given by 2j plus 1. So, when we combine both these, our electronic partition function QE will be equal to we can write summation 2j plus 1 e raised to minus EE upon KT. So this is our electronic partition function. Suppose if we consider that uh, all the molecules or the atoms are in ground state then for such a condition the energy that is EE it will be equal to 0 okay and hence no higher energy levels will be populated and hence under such circumstances our electronic partition function will only be equal to 2j plus 1 that means okay, uh, for the molecules or for any particular atoms uh, or for any system whose all the molecules are present in the ground state for that the electronic partition function it depends only on the degeneracy of the state and if we consider that uh, the angular quantum number that is j is also equal to zero then under such circumstances our electronic partition function will be equal to unity and as the temperature increases value of electronic partition function also increases because population of the particles in the higher energy level it increases okay now further we will understand by taking few examples that is uh, for example if we consider uh, molecules like helium and neon or monoatomic molecules then the value for the j or uh, for helium and neon the value of j is 0 that is angular momentum 
quantum number is zero and the energy is also zero and hence for such cases electronic partition function will be equal to one now suppose if we consider diatomic molecules then in case of diatomic molecules there are one or more electronic states which are present above the ground state okay, suppose if we consider the example of say chlorine atom so in case of chlorine atom there are more than one electronic states which are present above ground state and as and this states that is there are more than one uh, states present above ground state and this states are also considerably populated at room temperature okay so we need to consider the energy of that particular state also so suppose if we consider the example of chlorine then in the lowest energy state or in the lower state uh, the energy we can consider that the energy for ground state is zero and the angular momentum quantum number is 3 by 2 and not very far from this state there is one more state that is E1 and the angular momentum quantum number is half. So our electronic partition function QE it will be uh, we can substitute 2j so uh, we can write 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1 e raised to minus uh, this will be I can write yeah e raised to I can write 0 upon kt plus I will have 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 e raised to minus e1 upon kt and that will give me 2 2 will be cancelled out and hence I will have 4 e raised to 0 is 1 so plus 2 2 will be cancelled out and I will have 2 e raised to minus e1 upon kt so where e1 is our electronic energy in the upper levels and which is excess from the ground state energy and so at higher temperatures the electronic levels has to be considered because as we know that uh, the value of the electronic partition function it depends on the temperature that is as we increase the temperature more and more amount of particles will be present in the higher energy levels and hence the value of the partition function will change according to the temperature it is a function of temperature now from quantum mechanics the energy E a corresponding to any frequency in centimeter inverse that is from uh, quantum mechanics or from spectroscopy the energy E can be given by H mu into C where H is our Planck's constant mu is the frequency and C is our velocity of light and for chlorine it is found that uh, the frequencies or the value of mu for chlorine it is around 881 centimeter inverse which is found from the spectral data of the chlorine okay and hence we can substitute mu is equal to 818 h we know it is 6.62 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second and c is a, the velocity of light so when we substitute all these three terms we will have ue is equal to 4 plus 2 into e raised to minus 881 hc upon kt and if we substitute the value of h and c we will have 2 e raised to minus 1268 upon and we will also substitute the value of t uh, sorry k that is we will substitute the value of h c and k and hence we will have 1268 upon t so this is electronic partition function for chlorine atom similarly if we have different atoms then for different atoms we need to consider its angular momentum quantum number and the energy and from both these values we will find the individual electronic partition function in general we can say that the electronic partition function can be written as q is equal to summation 2j plus 1 e raised to minus e upon kt where j is our angular momentum quantum number and e is the electrical energy and this energy it depends on electronic transitions of the molecules from ground state to the higher energy levels 
so hope the electronic partition function was clear so now the total partition function that is q we can write it as the product of as we have seen in the first lecture only of partition function that is q can be written as it is made up of q electronic into q transition into q vibrational into q rotational so for any diatomic molecule for any diatomic molecule the total partition function q it will be given by for translation partition function is given by 2 pi mkt raised to 3 by 2 upon h cube into v our rotational partition function it is given by 8 pi square ikt upon sigma h square into vibrational partition function it is given by 1 minus e raised to minus hc omega upon kt inverse and qe or the electronic partition function it depends on the type of molecule that we are considering so hence for diatomic molecule it will be or the total partition function will be the product of translation contribution rotational contribution vibrational contribution and electronic contribution for any monoatomic molecule as we know that the rotational contribution and vibrational contribution are not considered and hence for any monoatomic molecule and also for monoatomic molecule qe is also equal to 1 so for monoatomic molecule the total partition function will be only due to the translation energy and it will be due to the translation partition function so for monoatomic molecule for we can say monoatomic molecule or for when n is equal to 1 so q will be equal to only translation partition function and that will be equal to we will have 2 pi mkt raised to 3 by 2 v divided by h cube so it will be only due to the translation contribution so hence depending on the type of molecule and further if we have polyatomic molecule then it will be again multiplication of all the four contributing factors or all the four types of partition function hope partition functions are clear thank you very much if you have any doubt then please write in the comment so that it can be resolved thank you very much